And now for some of the supporting cast behind the scenes. I am grateful to our partners at the Skoll Center, especially Stefan Chambers, Liz Nelson, Alex Nichols, Hannah Graham, Pippa Hitchens, Samita Maheshwari. Would you please stand for a round of applause? And the warmest of welcomes to our new colleague, the director of the Skoll Center, Pamela Hardigan. Let me also take this opportunity to acknowledge my Skoll Foundation family, our extraordinary board directors, beginning with Jeff, Jim Demartini, Deborah Dunn, Peter Hero, Kirk Hansen, Roger Martin, and Larry Brilliant. Would you please all stand so we can thank you for your service. And my wonderful colleagues, Lance Henderson and his super crew on the program and impact team, Laura Vase and the amazing folks on the marketing team who produced this celebration and the forum in partnership with our colleagues at the Skoll Center, and to Richard Fahey and his superb colleagues in operations, would you please all stand so we can honor and thank you. The whole staff, all the staff members. Thank you, all of you here tonight and those watching and listening online from wherever you are. And thanks to our families and colleagues at home, most of all. None of us could be here or do what we do without the support from those who know and love us best. Knowing this was the 200th anniversary of Darwin's birth, I thought there might be some interesting bits in his diaries, something to leave us with. So I checked what he was up to during his five-year voyage on the Beagle. Here's what his diary entry says for March 24th, 25th, and 26th during his first year out in 1832. These three days, like the weather, have passed away with enjoyment. We are nearly four degrees from the coast of Brazil and about two from the Albrajos, from which islands a long shoal extends itself. The lead has been regularly cast at every two hours. Today, at finding no bottom at 230 fathoms, we suddenly came on the bank between 20 and 40. We are steering now for the islands. Like Darwin, all of you know where you are in the world, even as you cast the lead to test for shoals and approaching shore. Truly, we are fellow travelers, as well as explorers, seekers, scouts, signaling to all aboard this beagle we know as planet Earth that we are on course, heading toward a brighter future and a better world. And so the 800 women and men in this room will recruit 8,000, and then 8 million, and then 8 billion. And then we will make landfall for that brave new world we see so clearly. Congratulations again to our 2009 Skoll Award winners. Thank you, good night, Godspeed. See you at the reception in the examination rooms. Good night, everybody.